as per the docs, we query the CTX user pending view or table to see if our index needs to be resynced. They're talking about here about a domain index or a text index. We have recently upgraded to 21C, <laughs> good for you, and the view is broken. Sync still works, but we now have to do it constantly because we can't see if we need to. They're saying that CTX user pending is empty. I love this little sort of, you know, little barb, like yeah, as per the docs, that's why I highlight it. They're simply saying, yes, I've read the documentation and it says I should query this view and this view should contain all the pending rows that are gonna be synced and it doesn't. One of the things I should note is index sync is not broken. And they did say it actually stinks still works, and that's true. And index sync still works very, very well. And in fact, we've made it a whole lot better in 21C, and I think it's being backboarded to one of the later RUs in 19 as well. But I will take this person's point. If you do look at the 21C documentation, it says, here's the view CTX user pending. This view displays a row for each of the user's entries in the DML queue. It can be queried by all users. So the theory is, if you have made some DML changes to a table that has a text index on it, you can see what rows need to be resynced by querying this view. And then when you resync the index, that view becomes empty again because everything's up to date. I'll take your point. I have logged a documentation bug saying that we should not talk about CTX user pending in 21C because the fact that it's empty is deliberate and by design. It is no longer used in 21C to explore how we do it if it's no longer in that view, we have to run a demo. So I'm gonna to connect to a few different databases here. So each time I'll spit out the banner so we know where we're on. So I'm on 19C here um, on this local machine. I'll create a table, very simple, just a copy of scott.emp and I'll put a text index on it. Um, so this is a text index on the ename column. Obviously that's probably not the most uh, exciting column to put a text index on. Not a lot of uh, document content in that ename column, but it serves our needs. If I insert some new rows and I've simply taken the employee name and appended an X to them so we know that they're all different rows. If I do a query on the CTX user pending table, what I'll do is for every column that comes out called PND row ID, I'll store the value in sample row. First, I'll query CTX user pending. It says I've got 14 pending things to be synced. My index is not in sync with my table because I've got 14 outstanding entries that being the 14 rows I've just inserted. The fact that I've asked the database to store one of these rows in the sample rows means I can now say, let's grab one of these sample rows. It simply remembers the last row ID. And just to prove that those 14 rows are the ones that need to be synced, you can see that one of these 14 is Miller X because we did this appending the X at the end. So there's 14 rows here. The 14 rows with the employee name has got X at the end of it, and they are waiting to be synced. Let's now do the exact same demo, but against Oracle 21. 21C on the same machine, create a table called T, it's a copy of scott.emp, create a text index on it, exactly like the previous script we just saw, put some rows in once again with the X on the end, let's query CTX user pending, and it's empty. And that's what caused the uh, issue here for the person that raised this question. How come I'm not seeing the pending rows in CTX user pending? In 21C, they don't go there anymore. Let's see where they do go. If we go back to Veric or Oracle 19, when you create a text index, we create some subordinate objects to support that. In fact, we can actually see the index was called TIX. If I search for all the objects that are DR dollar TIX, we can see that in Oracle 19, we create four subordinate tables, and there's some indexes underneath those as well, to support your text index. Let's now go to Oracle 21, and you'll see that things have changed. We've done a fair bit of re-architecture for Oracle text indexes. Now, when you create that index with TIX, you get seven subordinate tables floating around. So there's a lot more stuff going on under the covers here for text indexing. If I query those seven tables, and I've sort of con consolidated them all to one query here so we can get it all in one row, you can see there's no rows in the N table, there's no rows in the B table, there's 14 rows in the C, 14 in the I, 14 in the K, none in the Q, none in the U. So that's the counts in there at the moment. Remember, I had 14 rows that I'd insert a bit. I couldn't find in CTX pending and I hadn't actually resynced the index now. So I'll resync that index, which will bring that index up to date. It's now in sync with the table and I'll rerun that same query. Let's now do a bit of compare and contrast. The number of rows in the end table went from zero to zero. No change there. From B, zero to one. 
from C, 14 to 0, I, 14 to 28, 14 to 28, 0 to 0, 0 to 0. Looking at these numbers, I'd be making a guess that it's probably the C table that might contain the pending rows because it had 14 rows before I did a sync on the index and now it's dropped to zero. So my guess is that those rows, probably the pending rows go in here as opposed to CTX user pending. Let's test that theory. Let's insert another 14 rows. This time they're all enamed with a suffix of Y. And now let's query this table, this $TIXC table that I suspect contains the pending rows. Well, there's 14 rows in there. That looks promising. Same thing here. I'm preserving one of them in the variable sample row. Let's pick it out, one of those rows. And it says, yep, one of those rows, this last one here, is Miller with a suffix of Y, which equates to the ones I've just inserted. So it's reasonable to assume, I think, that instead of rows going into CTX user pending, now they go into one of the subordinate tables, which is index name with a DR dollar suffix of C. That's where our pending rows go. And that's where you'll find them. All you do is need to change your procedure. Rather than look in CTX user pending, simply look in the C table under your index, and that's where you'll see your pending rows. That's not the only thing we've changed in 21. And here's a little sidebar here, which hopefully will get you excited about text indexes in 21C. I've gone back now to Oracle 19. I create a table called T, brand new table, TIX index, so it's a brand new object again. Let's insert 14 rows. And you can see, as we suspected, they're all there in CTX user pending. So this is an open transaction. I've inserted 14 rows. I've got 14 rows in my pending table, which are there waiting to be synced. Let's go to 21C now and see that same demo. We know they're not going to be in CTX user pending. They're going to be in that $C table. Create my table, create a text index on it, insert 14 rows. And I know that to find those pending rows there in the $C table, and it's empty. That's a bit weird. Didn't we just show in the last demo that they're in there? I haven't ended this transaction yet. When I commit, then they appear. So unlike in 19, as DML is occurring, we store rows in the CTX user pending. In 21, we wait till the transaction ends. We're doing some batching of the ingestion of rows such that we can get them very rapidly into here. It's not like having a row level trigger. It's actually we're deferring that work until you commit and we can put the rows here in batches. So we actually get a performance benefit as well when you're using 21C text indexes when it comes to the, the regular DML that occurs on tables. So why'd we do it? Text indexes have got very, very popular. They used to be, you know, people didn't used to use them that often. Now they get used everywhere. And as a result, when you have dozens of tables all smashing rows into CTX user pending, it becomes a contention point. By moving the pending DMLs into the tables that sit underneath each individual index, we've spread that contention load out. We've removed the contention issue from CTX user pending. And as you just saw, we've dramatically improved the ingest rate. Now, it's not like having a row level trigger. Every time you do ML, you have to do stick something in CTX user pending. Now we defer that work until you commit, and we can do it in batches, a bit like the fast memory ingest that came in 19C as well. So we're doing better ingestion, better DML performance, and removing contention. So text indexes in 21C are dramatically improved upon all previous versions. Mm -hmm.